Welcome back guys, Sandro here again from Social Woodworks and this is part two of my solar power generator video. Uh, we're getting a little more depth of the wiring and whatnot, so stay tuned and we'll get into the video. Okay, next I want to talk about my actual solar panel. Uh, I got this also, basically everything I got off of Amazon except for a few of the components that I already had, such as the batteries and I had the inverters already, but uh, all these you can buy from Amazon. This solar panel I bought from Amazon, it's a 15 watt solar panel and uh, it was like, I don't know, pretty cheap, 20 or 30 bucks and it's a great quality one. It's got an aluminum frame. Um, it's just really good quality. It's weatherproof. Um, so you got to watch out for some of the cheap ones here, but this one I'd vouch for. All right, so I have my solar panel uh, just out here in my driveway here, just sitting straight up, looking right out at the sun. And the cord here is ran to the terminals that I have labeled solar. Guys, so I just got my, uh, my leads from my uh, multimeter in the uh, banana clip uh, plug for the solar panel. Um, let's see here on my meter, that panel's outputting about 17 and 3 quarter volts. Looks like it's increasing. Uh, and actually when I first put the leads on there, I was reading about 14.5 volts. And it's slowly increasing. It's probably going to go all the way up to 18.2, which is its max. And um, as you can see, I mean, this charges the battery really quick. Um, my trickle charger, I had to put it on there, you know, all night to uh, get the kind of voltage we're seeing now. Right now it's at 14 and a half volts. Um, this thing works pretty sweet. I mean, All right, so let's see what is underneath this uh, cover here. So this is removable, and I'm gonna try to get this out of the way enough so that you guys can see what's going on in here. See if it'll stay like this. All right, so this is what's inside of uh, my generator so here is one battery on the other side back here is the other battery and they're wired in parallel it's gonna be hard to figure out the wiring by looking at this but I have a schematic that shows exactly how I wired this and you guys will be able to um, you know wire up your own if you decide to make one I have some cool things on mine um, that are not necessarily essential uh, to making a solar power generator, um, but I thought that uh, they would be useful, and um, I, so you know, I, I, I chose to put those in mine. Um, basically, really, all you need is a controller, a battery power backup, or a battery source, and your solar panel. Um, those three things are essential. Um, so you need the solar panel to charge your batteries and then you need your batteries for your power source or whatever you're using. All this other stuff here is basically just connections from the battery power to whatever device you need to power up. So in here uh, you can see I have a terminal block and this is basically my 12 volt DC bus. I have uh, five leads down here for 12 volts DC positive and then four will be your 12 volts DC negative. Uh, you'll see here I have my 375 watt, excuse me, 375 watt inverter. Uh, I mounted the controller to this uh, panel here. This is removable, and underneath, underneath the controller down here, excuse me, has another terminal strip, um, which I basically just use to wire up my batteries in parallel, and then uh, come off the the uh, terminal strip down there to the um, controller here. Um, I have a fuse, 30 amp fuse here that goes from the um, actual battery connections to my bus bar down here. 
and then everything else is kind of connected to these um, uh, switches and uh, outlets and whatnot. So that's the inside of this thing. All right, uh, here is my crude schematic that I uh, drew up for this solar power generator. I'm just gonna talk about each component and explain what it's wired to. I'm gonna start up at the top left here, which is my trickle charger. This device isn't permanent, but I do use it to charge up my batteries when um, it's not sunny and I have a 120 volt source available, or if I just wanna charge the batteries overnight or something, I would use my trickle charger and that gets plugged into the terminal, uh, speaker terminals uh, labeled charger on the front panel of the solar generator. So those get plugged into the banana plugs and that is wired directly to the battery plus and minus. You can see that there. Over here in the top right I have my solar panel also not permanent but that gets plugged into the other banana speaker terminals and that gets directly wired to the solar charger plus and minus and next we have the batteries themselves as I mentioned they're wired in parallel which means the negative and negative are wired together and positive and positive are wired together so what that does is it doesn't add the voltage together but it adds the capacity together if I were to wire these in series, it would increase the voltage from 12 to 24 volts, but it would still have 12 amp hour capacity. Wired in parallel, we still have 12 volts uh, power, but we have doubled our capacity from 12 to 24 amp hours. So the batteries gets directly wired to the charger. That is a must because the solar panel, when it's connected, it has to have a battery source uh, connected, otherwise you'll fry the charger. So it gets wired to the solar charger directly, as well as everything else that you see down here. And I'll try to explain that a little bit here. So um, the positive side of each battery, I have coming down to uh, this, basically just this toggle switch. Same with this other battery, toggle switch, which controls uh, when the batteries are not connected to here, because they're always permanently connected to the solar charger but it'll shut off power to this bus bar down below. So everything basically connected to the batteries other than the solar charger is controlled by these switches and is also fused by this 30 amp fuse off that. These DC outlets and meters are very simple. They're just two terminals plus and minus. They're labeled very well. Um, it's kind of a no brainer for those. They're really easy to install. Um, that's about it for the schematic. It's very self-explanatory. It's a little easier to look at this than to look at the, the wire nest that I have inside the, the panel. If you guys have any more questions uh, about the schematic or anything else about this build, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Until the next video, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.